spoiled brat. Harry gone crazy after Piers Morgan's fatal attack for brazen action at Royal Memorial. Prince Harry has been branded a spoiled brat by Piers Morgan for not attending Prince Philip's memorial service. The Duke of Sussex did not travel from the US to Britain for the event at Westminster Abbey on Tuesday. The Queen put on a determined display as she attended the memorial service despite her recent mobility issues. But outspoken broadcaster Piers Morgan blasted Harry for his absence from the event in honour of the Duke of Edinburgh. The former Good Morning Britain presenter tweeted, Imagine missing your mentor grandfather's memorial service because you're such a spoiled brat you'd rather sulk in your Californian mansion than be there to support your grandmother? Shameful. Harry and Meghan Markle remained in Montecito, where they live with two-year-old Archie and nine-month-old Lilibet, rather than travelling back for the event. It comes as the Duke is embroiled in a legal row with the Home Office over police protection for his family in the UK. The Queen was surrounded by her family at the memorial service for her beloved late husband. She arrived with a walking stick and was escorted to her front row seat by Prince Andrew. Despite her mobility issues, the nation's longest reigning head of state stood throughout each hymn. The Queen was somber as she listened intently to the Dean of Windsor's touching tribute to remarkable Philip. During a Bible reading by Dame Sarah Mullally, Dean of the Chapel's Royal, the monarch was seen blowing her nose into a tissue. So set was the Queen on attending in remembrance of Philip that special arrangements were put in place for her comfort, with the service limited to 40 minutes and the head of state sitting in one of the Canada chairs but with an additional caution. She entered Westminster Abbey via a shorter route rather than her traditional procession from the Great West Door down the length of the church. Cameras were kept at a distance throughout the event. The difficulty for the Queen, who has admitted mobility issues, was understood to be whether she would be able to walk the 30 metres or so to her seat. Confirmation she would be present came only two hours or so before the service began, with the Queen taking the decision in the morning that she would be able to manage the official engagement. Guests at the Duke of Edinburgh's memorial service were discussing Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's decision to skip the event, with the late royal's former protection officer describing their excuse for not attending as nonsense. Richard Griffin, who was responsible for the safety of both the Queen and Prince Philip for 14 years, was a guest at today's event but was disappointed the Duke and Duchess of Sussex decided against returning to the UK to pay their respects. Harry has said he's unable to return to the UK due to safety concerns, which have become the subject of his latest legal battle, this time against the Home Office. Speaking, Richard said, William had a great training from, Prince Philip, and is going to learn all his examples for him. Fingers crossed, I just hope Harry gets some of these things into his mind. Asked about his decision not to attend, he said, that was a big disappointment for everybody. He also said that members of the 1,800-strong congregation were discussing Harry's absence before the service began. He said, certainly around where I was they thought he should have been here. All this nonsense about he couldn't get protection, as far as I'm concerned that was a pathetic excuse, he should have been here to honor his grandfather. At the end of the day, if he was that worried about security he could have stuck with his brother and father who have got wonderful security. He would have been more than safe. Richard worked for the royal family for over a decade and said today's service captured the Duke perfectly. Speaking about today's event, he said, to see the Queen come in and sit with her family, that was wonderful. It was very emotional. I worked with Prince Philip for 14 years and travelled the world with him, I did a lot of things with him and deeply missed him when he died. Of things with him.